Hi, this is Tom Eddins, licensed acupuncturist, Twena, and Qigong practitioner. Here doing the Baduan Jin, the eight silken movements, and this is number four. This one's called the Owl Turns Its Head. For this one, we also stay in a shoulder width stance. We'll let the low back relax, the tailbone sink down, knees become unlocked, and again, letting the neck be elongated. We open up this area along the back of the neck and open up the curvature of the bottom of the spine and get a gentle traction down into the earth, up into the sky. So the owl turns its head. For this one, basic movement is turning the head. You want to imagine the head moving like a cloud. Imagine it moving the speed of a cloud blowing through the sky. So slow and consistent turning the head, also opening the palms, opening the shoulders, and then when I get to the end of my turn, the last thing I'll do is look with my eyes over the shoulder, further opening, and then relaxing back to center, and go to the other side. Letting the spine be nice and long, staying sunken at the base of the spine. The head gets to the end of the turn. I'll look with the eyes and come back. This one I imagine the vertebra of the neck to be like a spiral staircase. One that comes back to alignment and then goes into a spiral. And as it does, it expands and each step expands away from the neck. So each vertebra, I keep this picture in my head and I feel each vertebra opening, expanding away from each other and simultaneously turning and stretching. Don't forget to look with the eyes and coming back. Sometimes I'll even count the vertebra, and you can start to feel them, the seventh, and the sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, first, and then the eyes, and we'll back it down, one, two, three, four, five. So you can play with that, feeling into each of the vertebra. But in any case, staying relaxed. Keeping this principle of contraction and expansion. So as I come back to center, sinking into the heels, relaxing my shoulders, letting the front area become relaxed, and then pressing the balls of the feet, Yung Twin, Bubbling Spring into the ground as the spiral staircase elongates, as my neck extends and opens, the energy comes up and out, reaches the apex and begins to close again. So again this principle of contraction expansion, pumping the yin and the yang, pumping the fluids through the joint spaces, the blood through the vessels, the lymph through the passages, opening everything up so that that can happen, and then allowing it to close over and over, opening and closing. is the magic of movement. And so Qigong is about feeling the subtle alignment and the layering of these principles, layering of the different aspects of the practice, 
opening the spine, opening the chest, coordinating the palms, coordinating the breath, coordinating the gaze, where the eyes look. All of these little things add up to a sum or a, part, a whole that's greater than the parts. So the wise owl turns its head. And a wise owl will do this exercise every day. 